Welcome back to Far Cry 5's arcade mode, the boat that can give you something really good, or the boat that can give you hot garbage. We're gonna go play a bounty hunt game, because that's the only map style that people are making nowadays. Epstein Island! A bunch of enemies have gone and made their own base on another island and then called it Epstein. Well, that can't happen. They've done it illegally, so the deputy is being sent there to go and evict them. And I mean, just evict the owner, because apparently that's all it's going to take for this adventure. The deputy has always been really good at their job. So good that they don't need any weapons Bounty to do the mission. Hunt. They're that good. Yes, they've, they've always been perfect, and this is a preset template. Uh, yep, it's just been made darker, and it's probably hard to see on this on the video right now. Or at least parts of it is. I can see it fine, but I imagine you guys are struggling. Oh, and I see a helicopter on the map. I'm gonna go and take their chopper. Their own chopper belongs to- Oh my god! No! 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 I'm alive! I need to live! You will not swim! You will not catch me! I'm the deputy! I've main character syndrome! You will run away now! Be gone, thou creature! You shall go and flee into the forest! That's what I thought! Your forest is that way, and my journey is this way. My journey will require me to climb up on this this, this, this pier here that's on the ground. And, and yeah, I will climb up, and then I will just sit here with my flashlight in the rain, looking at the stars. The stars are all beautiful. The stars are too much for me, so I'm leaving this pier. And then continuing on my actual mission, which would be to go and even take out the the ones that have taken over this island. The, they, they assume that they've owned it, and oh shoot, that yeti is trying to look for me again. Okay, well, I gotta stay away from that yeti. Keep away from them. Keep away. Hey guys, you know there's a yeti trying to chase me? You should probably do something about it. It's Unless it's your pet, and in that case, well, more power to you. It's your pet. So I am looking for this helicopter that the game's telling me that's on the map, because I can see it in my compass. I'm trying to look for it. If I get a hold of it, things are going to change. Things are going to change. Things are going to be different. And there it is. Oh, yeah, it's an attack helicopter. Me thinks that an enemy was supposed to be able to use it. Me thinks that the enemy is probably in that building. You know what? I want to go check the building just to see if the enemy's there. And no, he's not there. Okay, well, I wanted a gun. But I'm not getting a gun, so I guess I'm not getting anything. I am now in the helicopter. The helicopter is now mine. And now it's mine. My victory is all mine. This is all I needed. I'll just keep shooting randomly. Eventually, I'll take out the bounty target. One of them's going to be the target somewhere. There. I have put an end to every single human enemy on top of this map. There is no more human enemies left. The only red dots that you see are those that are underground or possibly attack dogs that I've ended up missing. There are a few attack dogs running around, but I got everyone else. And now I have to go this way. And yes, I can see that there's a grappling hook. I am going to be so disappointed if I actually need a grapple hook to win. And oh, that sound effect. Oh, that sound effect. Okay, well, so there were some enemies firing rockets at me. They didn't pose much of a threat still, because I had enough distance. And by the looks of things, I am going to have to go inside that just to be able to get my leftover enemies. I do not know why there's a waypoint placed here when it leads to literally nothing. It doesn't show anything. Maybe they wanted to see... It. They, maybe the, the waypoint was directed so that players could see this uh, this plant-like thing growing through the whole building that is to find the laws of physics. Maybe that was the whole point of that waypoint. But yeah, um, I'm going to be disappointed if I have to go in that hatch and then I find out I'm soft-locked and then I find out that we all find out that this is an unwinnable loadout choice that I picked and I started the game with and all of my work was for nothing! I'm gonna be disappointed if that's the case. It looks like I'm gonna have to go in there. Alright, well, I got enough ammo. I should, I should be able to survive. No problem. Let's go in. Go in. Go in. You are a bunch of enemies. You have been take down. You have been take down. You have been take down. And I can't do a take down to you. You are my target. Take my headshots and suffer, because that is your life now. And boom, that is the game, and y'all, oh, look at that. 
It's unchanged loadouts, partially, or at least the bottom one. Didn't include a grapple for a player to get out. Oh my god, the ultimate form of laziness. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I jump through here? The, no, no, I'm just screwed. The deputy had made the attack plan, but they didn't make the escape plan. They didn't have an escape plan ready, and that's that's oh so sad. Well, now I have an escape plan. I'm the deputy part two, and I've been detected by something or someone. I cannot tell. I think it was a human enemy. Oh, shoot, it's a sniper. Turn around. Turn around. We don't need no snipers in my face. We don't need no snipers putting me in my place. We just need me to turn around. And, and I, I have suspicions. I have great suspicions. That, what the hell is that sound? I think it's a boar, those pig boar things. I'm hearing one of them. Sir, how are you able to see me so easily? It's dark out here. You got some night vision in your eyes, don't you? Sir, I'm gonna take you out because I would like your handgun. Don't take your handgun with you to your grave! Come on! Try, try to do the right thing by getting myself fully stocked for the battle ahead, and this is how it repays me. I guess we're gonna go up. We're gonna go forward now. I can get my bounty target, that'd be great. That's all I really need. We learned that there are attack dogs in the base, so me throwing bait around is not really going to do much difference. Not going to help me all that much. But I have it, just in case. A great thing would be me sneaking into the base without being detected and just taking out the enemy and leaving, but that seems like it's not going to happen. Oh, wait a minute, I can jump over this fence. And then, oh my god, I'm going to sneak in? I, I, my whole battle plan was described. I relieved my whole battle plan, and I succeeded! Aha! I have sneak attacked you! Does that feel good? That you are made a fool out of? I had to reload my gun there for a second and take some of your bullets. It didn't feel comfortable, but that's what happened. There, you're down. You're doubt. And now I can actually turn around and go back and, and hope that the enemy hasn't taken the helicopter and used it against me. Come on, let me grapple it up. Alright. Yeah, I, I, I know that the enemies are alerted right now. They're alerted. Just let them see me. Oh, shoot. Oh shoot. Okay, well, don't don't see me then. I need to heal up. Just need to find the way out, which would be this way. And there's too many bullets. You and your damn snipers getting in my face. How dare you do this to me? Ow, ow. No ambushing. It's me that's supposed to ambush. Ow, you took away my body armor again. Jacob just takes... Oh, not Jacob. Joseph, you take away my body armor. That's not fair. But now I can't actually damage boost through again. And when I mean again, I mean just the first time. Alright, so... I learned now from the previous encounter... Okay, I'm going to have to take out this enemy so they stop searching for me. Uh, yeah, I learned in the previous round that if, you, you, if you're already detected, you can't just boost and run out. They will shoot you dead. The snipers will make sure that you just get shot dead. So I do have to wait until they lose me. Their search comes to an end, and my exit strategy begins. The attack dogs see me. Run! Run! Climb! Heal! Heal! Heal, damn you! Heal! Heal, damn you! Heal! I win! We all have our own ambition in life. My ambition was to make a YouTube channel and produce good content. And I've somewhat succeeded. And somewhat not. Others would say I haven't, but I certainly feel like I have. Especially since I've come a long way in my career. And when I say career, I guess it's more of a hobby because I'm not getting paid any money for this at this time at the point of this posting date of this video. Still, it's awesome. What's this ambition, though? What is the ambition behind this map? Default, fearless, fearful, easy. Boo! You don't have Strange Desmos loadout here. Strange Desmos loadout would be this. Only take away the throwing knife, take away the Molotov, and take away the shovel. That would be Strange Desmond's loadout. Maybe add a grapple hook if you need it to win. That'd be it. This will have to do. This will have to be as close as it gets to my loadout. Or I could just take this and then throw away all the shovels. That'd work too. And throw away the Molotovs and the throwing knives. There! Now we can begin! Strange Desmond's loadout has started. Where the hell am I? 
I'm like in the middle of nowhere. Um, triggers? Oh, shotgun. This I will happily use. So let's try this. Oh, 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 that looks fancy. Oh, I see. It's like a battle stadium. Shoot a ball to begin a battle. It chooses the battle for you somewhat. Oh my goodness gracious. Do you have, what kind of weapon? Oh, they're all melee weapons. I got a shotgun. How much bullets do I have? Only one bullet. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. They're not going to move from their spots either, I don't think. Not until I'm detected. All right, fine. Let the battle begin! To the death! I will take your bat, and I will use it! Your bat belongs to me! Haha! -ha! Who's going to break their control zone? To go and save their friend. Your friend is going to meet their doom. They meet their end. No one wants to break? Okay, fine. You just stay there lying in pain. That's your fate. That's what you must do for the rest of your days. Let's do a new battle with the other gladiators. Now it is on even ground because I have your weapon. Ah! Ow, you're using throwing knives. I threw away my throwing knives. Throwing knives are for sissies. That's why I'm throwing baseball bat. Hell yeah, that's how. Oh, that's two pe groups of down. Two groups of enemies. They're all taken out. Now I gotta do the final group. To battle! Yeah! Stop throwing knives at me! You sissies are not allowed to throw your knives! Especially since I don't have any. Done! Ha ha! I've taken you all out! I think. And, oh, yeah, that's it. Okay. Hit the other, other glowing orb here. No, I said hit it. Okay, destroy the orb. Stop bouncing! Stop bouncing! You're making me look bad! Get back here and take your bat like a bitch! There we go! Now I'm at... Oh, fucking hell. What you gonna do now, little alien? Huh? No, yeah, there's nothing you can do anymore, is there? Of course, now I'm pretty much screwed because I don't have any ammo to take all these enemies out. Yeah, oh, I see. Okay. Okay. All right, I get you. I see what's going on now. I need to wait for an opening, and I have to hope my controller doesn't glitch out and push me forward, because the moment I get blown up, I'm just dead. Like a bowling ball, I managed to take out most of the enemies in one boom. Of course, the moment I go down, I am screwed, because I don't have any ammo to take out most of these enemies, so I have to use my bats wisely. This is what I've been training for with the Viking Warriors. The Viking Warriors, they've taught me how to use a bat with precision and glory. Oh, I missed that one. Hey, that's a target. I actually had to destroy the Arachnids. You're all my enemies. You're all my targets. Oh, oh, okay. Well, I took out most of them. I might be able to get a bat now. Not a bat. I might be able to get a gun. Just one gun is all I need. One gun. There. Got it. And now that I have it, I can go back here in my good old camping spot, which I'm pretty sure is going to be patched out at the moment that the creator sees this video. I imagine they're probably going to patch this out and set up it like an invisible wall to prevent players from climbing this, because this is too easy now. But I found it! There's no such thing as rules in a battle! Unless you're using throwing knives. Take that, alien scum! Trying to blow me up with your power. I'll show you my power. My power is maximum. And that, they're gone. And there we go. That's the signal that I must go and destroy these orbs again. Alright, so. Um, what kind of weapon do I want? Do I want to bring any more weapons with me? Well, it's telling me there's a D50 here. But I, I pretty much have my full loadout now. Okay. Destroy the ball. Oh, there, where, where, where am I going now? Are you my target? Yeah, you're my target. Okay, so I'm fighting a blood dragon now. You're not as threatening as the hatchlings for some reason, even though I had an easy exploit with the hatchlings. The problem with you, blood dragon, is that you're being stopped by the immortal invisible wall. And when I mean invisible, I mean an actual wall. That is going to lead to your downfall. You have no chance to beat me because I have the power of walls on my side. And you have the power of crappy turning. Yes. You see? You can't get me. You'll freak out new players, but you won't freak out anyone else. Ha 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 Now die, Blood Dragon! Die! Meet your doom! Like all the others that come before Strange Desmo, especially the neutral NPCs. And that's it. That's the map. I actually enjoyed that one.
I'm not exactly sure if this deserves a like yet, but I'll give it to it anyway, because the parts that I played of it was actually fun, and I want to leave it on a positive note. This will be the last map of today, and this one's called Kill Joseph Seed. It's self-explanatory, it's pretty much the mission. Let's go in and let's do the job. Killer Man! That's the name of the loadout. Understood! So the story is, is that I've arrived here by boat, and I've already taken out the, some of the boatmen because we had disputes as to who owns this pier and who owns this land. Well, they didn't like the, 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 that I'm going to come and to evict the owner here, just like I evicted the owner of the other one. Yeah, now I'm going to evict this one. This one's not going to give me an, an, an easy helicopter, though. This one's going to make me work for it. Well, that's fine. That's fine. I can do my job. Uh, I can work for it if I have to. Why is this fence like, made so low? I mean, you could very easily jump over it. Here, I can, let me see if I... Oh, maybe you can't. Okay, it just looks low from a distance. Apparently it does not. Well, you could, I could have jumped over it if, if I had a V. <gasps> I can jump over it. Watch this magic, guys. <laughs> I can drive like a king. And I'm going to drive to a shortcut. Because that is the greatest thing in life right now. I must drive. Yeah, that's enough of that. I'm gonna get out of this vehicle. Open the hatch. Just open the hatch so I can climb up top. And boom, I've done a shortcut. Oh, I could have just gone around anyway. <laughs> well, this is my new route. This is the way I'm t taking. This is... Everybody has their own story and their own path in life. This is apparently mine now. This is where I'm going. This is how I'm gonna do it. Any goodies inside this building? I would like something more than just a classic assault rifle and... A, a, a silent machine gun, a machine pistol that I probably won't use because it's too overpowered. Oh, no, they don't want to give me anything. Alright, well, is there anything inside this bunker that you want to give? No? Alright. I'm. Why am I getting vibes that the bunker was being worked on, but then, but then someone realized that there would be too much work to design the bunker, so it just got sealed off? I don't know, it just feels something like that. It probably is not the case. It might just be there to look cosmetic-wise. Oh, you are just hanging out in the back. I can see you. And yet you're just hanging. You're chilling. You're hanging out. Let's see if I can just shortcut this. Aha! I have shortcutted. And now you must take a nap! I don't know if your pals are going to see you, especially with that door being unopenable, but that door is open, so... Yeah, maybe they will see you. Where's Joseph Seed? Bring him out to me. We must have a chat about who owns this land. What are you doing inside that cage, miss? Is that where you go when you'd like to... What? Hey! No. What are you doing inside the cage? Is this where you go when you want to go see Joseph Seed? Is he going to put me in a cage too? Well, he can certainly try. He can certainly try. There's no one in this building. He can certainly try, but he will not succeed because I own this land now. I will. He has no choice but to accept reality. Joseph Seed is probably in the second floor of this building. It just seems the most obvious spot because it makes players work for it. Unless he's in one of the underground bunkers that I haven't found. All right, well, let's go to the top floor then. I have the ability to do so. I can do it. I can do it. See? I can climb. I can climb through and... Oh, that's been fenced off. Ah, okay. I guess I can't take a shortcut up. The only way in is through the front door. Unless I can do, like, a tricky parkour jump here. Oh, no. No. I had to try it. I want to try this parkour jump one more time. Oh, man. That's tough. Oh, that is hard to do. That's, like, pixel perfect. Alright, screw this. We'll just go inside for the front door, then. It'll be much easier, much faster. And uh, at least I get to take out more enemies now. And, oh, um, maybe I won't go... <gasps> oh, it opens! It opens! Your vault door has now come to an open, which means enemies cannot go out this way. I have means to backtrack and retreat if I'm ever in trouble. You have means to do nothing. What if the I just saw a whole bunch of enemies inside there. You are definitely not Joseph Seeds, though. I'm looking for Joseph. Have you seen him? Okay, well, there's no way I'm getting through without a fight, so... Well, there's certainly a, one of the Seeds in these buildings. I just don't know who yet. I heard one. 
There's also an attack dog here that's going to attack. It missed. Oh. Are you going to attack now? Ow. Oh, come on, shotgun. I know you're a bad shotgun, but you could cooperate every now and then. At least to make yourself look good. Even if you're, well, honestly not all that good. <laughs> oh, my favorite machine gun! Yes! I have reasons to use it now, and I need to take this flamethrower just in case as a backup. You can take your your SMG, I don't want it. I want to use my BP gun! This will be enough for me to do the rest of the mission. Give me guns for all oh, there's the Jacob's not in here. Joseph's not in here, I mean. Unless he's in that upper floor and I just missed him. There, I fired my gun. He didn't pop up on the compass, so he's not there. The search goes on. The search goes on. I'm gonna go and look inside that this room over here anyway. They might actually have some goodies for me to use and no nope, nothing it's just all cosmetic so we're done in this building i have this knowledge for next time now to not even bother going into this building should i ever fail the mission i have that knowledge i have that knowledge this dude has detected me and i'm perfectly fine with that because i wanted to use my bp gun because this bp gun is really awesome to use i like using it and there he's joseph's joseph you are running around in the overworld so now we know where you are, should I ever fail the mission. I have taken out Joseph Seed, and with his defeat, I can now flee this place. You are in dying now, sir, or madam. Yes, I'm gonna call you a ma'am. You are a ma'am to us now, and that's the edge of the map. I fall in there, I ain't get <gasps> Oh wait, actually, I can get back. There's water there. So now the way out requires me to go back to the pier where I came from. So I just go and evict the owner and that's it. The rest can stay. You guys are fine. I just want the owner. Just go and evict them. And then leave for the day. That is the mission and that is how we're going to play. Yes, I hear those mortars firing in the sky. They don't know where I am though, so they're just firing in nothing now. Okay, it is nice to see all the water effects though. It is cool to see all these water effects lash up when they fire that mortar. So, my advice on improving the mission. Uh, put an extra bounty target inside that mansion so players actually have to go in there. And uh, Just having one bounty target doesn't really feel like it's enough to stay and explore around the island. It's going to require more. Definitely more. Also, yeah, probably want to fix this. How you can just easily go around the fence. Unless that was intentional. But I'm just saying it might be easier to uh, set up the mission in a way where you get players to go through the front gate. That way they have more likely to endure or encounter a battle instead of just leaving this open. I did use the truck to jump over. That one you could leave alone because that secret is fun to use. But if you still feel like that's, that's too much, then you're going to have to remove the truck altogether. Or add an invisible wall surrounding the fence, but that takes too much work. That takes a, lo a lot of, well, I guess it doesn't take too much work. I make it sound like it's the ultimate form of lazy, but really, the simple fix would just be to take out the truck. Anyway, that's all I got to say about this map. That's it. We can go. I've done. I've won it. I'm getting out of here. Woohoo! We're one. That's all the time we have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you so much, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye!